How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to use the Apple Intelligence writing tools on your iPhone. This is an absolutely amazing new feature. Think of it like ChatGPT, right? Like a generative AI where it can easily rewrite text, proofread, change to a more friendly, professional or concise tone on your text and of course you have a bunch of summary options, it's absolutely insane and of course it doesn't only work on your notes, it works on every single piece of text on your iPhone, on your email, on your text, on WhatsApp and of course even on other people's texts like for example on websites or newsletters or anything you receive you You'll be able to use the brand new writing tools from Apple Intelligence on your iPhone. Let me show you right now. Okay, so first things first, please keep in mind that in order to use writing tools, you will need to have Apple Intelligence enabled on your iPhone. And in order to do that, you actually need to be running at least iOS 18.1, which is currently on a beta, but of course, everyone can install it on their iPhones just like I have here. It's completely free and official, okay? So everyone can do it. If you're interested in this, please go ahead and tap on this card right here, link in the description, and it'll be redirected to another video of mine where I teach you step-by-step step how to update to iOS 18.1 and how to enroll and enable Apple Intelligence on your iPhone today. Check it out. All right, so let me show you what it can do. So I'm gonna open up my notes, but as I said, this works on every single piece of text on your iPhone. And then all you have to do is simply tap on the text you wanna play with, right? And then select it. I'm gonna select this whole thing. And as you can see, we have this dedicated button, the Apple Intelligence button. And as we tap on it, we have writing tools, okay? So as you can see right here, I have created this demo text right here, which is not really friendly, right? It's a little bit aggressive, as you can see. So I did it on purpose to show you, for example, the ability to change this text to a more friendly text. So for example, if I tap here on friendly, it's gonna do its thing, as you can see right here, and then it's gonna create a more friendly version of course you can go back to original or you can retry you can always do that so it can create infinite options and possibilities until you are good with it of course you can always come back to the original and share your feedback please keep in mind we're still on a beta so not everything here will be perfect okay so let's come back to original as you can see right here and then tap on done and then it comes back and then let's go back here to our writing tools because of course we have other options like for example professional so maybe i don't want to be too friendly but i want to be more professional so as you can see it creates a larger text with all of the same information but with better words and it goes around a little bit to give it this more professional look as you can see i like this one so i'm gonna go for done so i have created this new version as you can see it has selected this new version but let's come back here to apple intelligence because maybe that's too long okay it's professional but it's too long so i can make it concise so as you can see right here it's gonna make it smaller so it's gonna keep the same tone but making it smaller right and then the exact same thing always having the possibility to come back to the original or retry or tap on done as you can see and if you come back once again to the writing tools as you can see we also have the possibility to just rewrite so maybe you don't want to change the tone you just want to change how you're saying it so you can say rewrite and then it's going to change the way it sounds change the words maybe it's going to give you a better context but not necessarily changing the tone so that's a possibility right and then moving on we have other possibilities including proofread and i'm going to talk about that in a second and other possibilities here down below which i'm going to show you right now on other examples so as you can see i've got this other note right here and it's a grocery list right so bread butter eggs orange juice and then the quantity like one unit or 18 counts or one bottle and the price but as i said there's no punctuation nothing like that i have just like put one name and then everything like all together not organized at all but Apple intelligence can actually help me out. So let me do the same thing. I'm gonna actually double tap so I can just select the text, right? We've got Apple intelligence once again, tap here. And then what I'm gonna do actually is create a table. So let me tap on table right here. It's gonna work, right? It's gonna try and adjust. And as you can see, take a look at this. It's all automatic. So grocery, right? So item, 
it, it put this information automatically, quantity, price, so it just understood the whole thing. Of course, sometimes it'll miss like a comma or a punctuation or something. It's a beta, but the ability of just creating some kind of different content and organizing content is so, so cool, especially because it's all automatic. How cool is that? Now, what about correcting text? As you can see right here, I've got this text, which is not really correct grammarly, right? So if I go ahead and do the exact same thing as we're used to already, so I go ahead and select and then Apple Intelligence, and then I go for proofread, as you can see, it's gonna do its thing and it's actually gonna correct two changes. So I can already tell right here, it corrected here, I'm, which was completely incorrect, and punctuation as well, as you can see, because it was a comma and then it put a period, right? And of course, it will explain you. So if I go here uh, for the first option, phrase usage, I'm, right? And then second, missing punctuation, like uh, the dot, the period should be inserted here. So very, very nice. It just corrected the thing. And this is so, so useful. Imagine having this possibility to just correct any single text on your phone easily, natively, free, without having to download anything extra or copy and paste somewhere else. It's all integrated. Everything that I'm showing you here is integrated. And as you can see, if I open up my email, for example, it's the exact same thing. So if I click here and then I just select my text, as you can see, if I don't see the Apple intelligence, I just go ahead on this pop-up menu and then tap on the arrow and then writing tools. And then I get the exact same experience. As I said, it's everywhere. If I open up my messages, same story. So I'm gonna go ahead here and select the text. Apple intelligence, so it's everywhere. And as I also mentioned, it's not only texts we're creating, it's anything. So if I open up a website with a story, as you can see right here, an article, I can simply go ahead and select it. So I'm gonna tap and hold, and let me go ahead and just pull down, pull down, keep pulling down, so we can get all this text, for example. And as you can see, writing tools, so I can tap here, and then I've got the exact same thing. I can even correct text from websites. I can rewrite it. I can make it more friendly, personal, concise, professional, the exact same thing. Or in this case, which I think is more relevant, is give me a summary on this. So then it's gonna give you a summary saying, Apple releases iOS 18.1 beta for iOS 15 Pro and Pro Max, including AI features. So how cool is that? A very short summary, but maybe you want key points. So you want more information on the topic. It's gonna give you more information. So, uh, beta releases, the new features, and so on. Same story if you want to get a list. So, a list of what's going on in this article. It's going to give you a list with the most important data. So, it's absolutely incredible, as you can see. And, of course, you can copy, you can share it, you can do whatever you want with all of that information. And, finally, I want to show you something else, which is so, so cool as well. Again, related to your email. So, if you come back to emails, and then I've got this email right here, but I don't want to read it sometimes it's a newsletter is a bunch of information but take a look at this one message summarize so if i tap here on summarize it's gonna do its magic and then in just like three seconds it's gonna say it's like docusign webinar offers live demos of popular features so it's saying what this long email was trying to tell me in like three lines and of course i can also go ahead here and do the usual so select any kind of text go for my writing tools, get the information I want if I want something more specific, if I want more details, for example. And so that's pretty much it, guys. That's an overview. That's how to use writing tools from Apple Intelligence, one of the coolest new features I've seen in a very long time on the iPhone. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.